Hello, Earth Signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for February 10th, 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, in that order. All right, I'll start with Taurus. First card's you, second card, your person, third card, your outcome. Bottom of the deck is shared energy. So let's start with Taurus. What does Taurus have coming for them February 10th in love? All right, the Four of Wands, very nice. The person you are dealing with. Whoa. The star, your outcome, the moon. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Wands. And you are being held back from moving forward. You're feeling trapped by this situation. You're feeling trapped in something um, when all you have to do is get out of that thought pattern of being stuck and a new passionate beginning is here for you. Um, you are dealing with somebody or something that is affecting your home, Taurus. Um, the Four of Wands, you, uh, you're worried about your stability. You're worried about where you're going to live. You're worried about... Um, how this relationship is going to leave you financially stable, you know, your stability, your home. So you're letting it hold you back from moving forward. You're staying stuck in a position um, when you could be having this new passionate beginning. The person you are dealing with, they're working hard on healing themselves, um, working hard on um, getting to a point where they uh, can manifest what, what it is that they desire. The outcome for you guys today is deep, uh, deep romantic feelings, but also hiding your true feelings towards somebody. Why is the four of wands here for Taurus? Yeah, the eight of pentacles. You're just worried about your finances. You're worried about how you're going to be able to afford things, how you're going to be able to, um, yeah, you're just worried about work right now. You could have just lost a job and you're worried how it's going to affect your stability. Um, the person that you are dealing with, like I said, they're working on healing and being able to manifest what it is they want because they're now realizing what they have to give up in order to get something better. Um, so they're no longer focusing on the grass on the other side of the fence. They're now watering their own garden, watering their own um, wishes, wants. Why is the moon here for the outcome? The lovers. Yeah, this is about deep deep romance between the two of you, deep, passionate feelings, but you're also hiding the love you feel for one person because you feel stuck with another. Um, the, the person that you have all this romantic feelings for this deep love and passion for is your passionate new beginning, but you have to get out of this thought, uh, pattern of, uh, being stuck where you're at being, feeling like you have to be there to take care of responsibilities or however it is, you have to um, follow your heart and go with the person that that you have these deep romantic feelings for, um, or you're going to constantly be wondering about them. You're going to constantly be, you're not going to be able to commit to the person that you are with fully right now, ever, if you have this person on in the back of your mind all the time. So if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling trapped, allow those feelings to fall by the wayside. Follow your heart and allow that passionate new beginning, Taurus, and you will um, be successful in, in your relationships. Whoa. All right, Virgos. There we go. Spirit guys and angels, what messages do you have for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, you have the Five of Cups. The person you are dealing with is the Prince of Swords. And your outcome for the day is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. All right, Virgos, you guys, um, you could have be working very hard at work, something that you're trying to create. But this is also... Um, having a third party situation going on and needing to make a choice of who to choose to get this new beginning with this new, um, abundant life to start over fresh with. You are mourning the loss of having to leave somebody behind. However, even though the choice that you're going to be making 
will move you towards your two of cups, your soulmate. Um, you are mourning the thought of leaving one of them behind. Why is five of cups here for Virgo? Why is five of cups here for Virgo? Thank you. All right. Yeah, the seven of pentacles in reverse. So you're you're not you're not going within and looking to see what it is that's going to make you grow more as a person. Who is going to allow you to be your real self, your true self? Um, you need to go within and figure out what which direction, what path is going to um, lead you to the real you, and that's the person that you're meant to be with. Um, it's going to be hard leaving one or the other behind, but it's going to allow you to truly follow your heart um, once you decide to walk up to the tower and release this one of these people. The person you're dealing with is the Prince of Swords. They're coming in very quick. Uh, they could be delivering some truth. It could hurt a little bit, and that's what's causing you this morning. Why is the Prince of Swords here for Virgo's person? Yeah, the Hanged Man. They have, they have been waiting in the distance in silence for quite some time now. They haven't been saying much. They've just been sitting back and watching everything from afar, doing their healing, putting in the work that they've needed to do on themselves. And now they're coming in very quickly, delivering you a message or some news that is not going to be necessarily very nice, but it is going to be the truth. It's going to cause you to be a little bit sad today um, because what they're telling you uh, is truthful, but it might bite a little. Um, it is, however, the outcome of the day. You are going to come out of this feeling like you're the victim. Um, it is going to give you some new outlook on your situation, and it is going to um, allow you to see the potential growth within the relationship that um, you're wondering about. You do have the five of cups, the five of pentacles, and the bottom of your deck is the five of wands. So some major change is coming for you, Virgos. Um, and you've been trying to hold off on this change, but it is coming for you. But don't fear it because it is bringing a new beginning for you. It is bringing you the uh, new abundant life that you so, um, if you so choose. But you can't be stuck in that victim um, mentality. You have to go after what you want. You have to know that you have, sometimes you have to give up some things to get something better and you will receive uh, beautiful blessings for those. All right, Capricorn. What do Capricorns have coming in for February 10th? The Princess of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Emperor. All right, so you guys are coming to the end of a cycle that caused you a lot of strife, a lot of heaviness, a lot of burden, a lot of thoughts ruminating in your head, a lot of worries, um, just a cause you to really um, keep you from moving forward, cause you to uh, stop in any action or progress moving forward. But when you release this, it is going to allow you then to focus on yourself, to focus on a business possibly, but just really finding your sense of stability and your place in this world. Um, this 10 of wands is not where you're meant to be and you have to let that go then to, um, to concentrate on your true purpose, the reason for being here at Capricorn. You could be receiving a message from a fire sign, um, that's, that's uh, going to kind of add fuel to the fire. Let's see what the princess of wands is here for Capricorn, the king of wands. Okay. So this person, um, you could be receiving a very passionate uh, message from a fire sign. Um, yeah, it's going to come in very quickly, very out of the blue. This person could be juggling um, energies, however. Um, they are making a change in their life. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Pentacles again. So um, this person could be sending you a message that they're not going to be moving towards you, that they have to get their life in order. They have to um, find balance within themselves before they can offer you a relationship. This is going to break your heart um, hearing this news today, but it is for the best. Look at that, because you're going to have a new beginning in love because of it. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius just because this was in their outcome, as well as the Page of Cups was too. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or an Aries, I mean, 
Um, but this heartbreak is only going to clear the path, clear the way, Capricorn, for this new beginning that you have coming in love with a very strong, passionate person coming your direction that will not be um, juggling so many energies. Um, so you're just going to have to allow this tower to fall with the ten of pen or ten of wands, so you can then um, find your your place again, find um, what you're meant to be doing in this world, and um, and get out of this this energy of being juggled around so much. So you could be hearing from a fire sign today, but just allow this energy to end. It is at the end of its cycle. It is time to put it down. Um, so you can concentrate and bring in what is meant for you, Capricorns. All right, Earth signs, I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. God bless.